I'm going to be showing you everything that I got when I went to America. Um, you will probably know that it was about two months since I got back. So this is very, very late and this stuff has literally been sat in a bag, which I bought most of the stuff in, literally in the same bag, waiting for me to do this video and I have taken my merry time. But we have finally got round to it and I am getting my ass up and doing it and filming it. So I hope you enjoy and yeah, it's all the clothes. Um, I bought some like skincare products and also like cheesy souvenirs as well that I got from America. So I hope you enjoy and yeah, let's get right into it. So I don't think I would have gone to LA if I did not pop in to Brandy Melville. So I didn't get as much as I wanted to because we popped in there once, I think, um, in like the first week that I was there. And then we went to a bunch of other places throughout the two weeks and I didn't end up going back. I do love all the stuff in there. It sounds really cliche, but all the stuff is so like aesthetic and summery and I just love it. So yeah, I got a few bits from there, which I am going to show you now. So the first thing I got, was this little vest top. So I think this was like $15, I think, um, or maybe 18. I can't remember and they haven't got the tags on, so I do apologize for that. Um, I got it in the size small and it's got these two little cupids on it, which are really cute. Um, yeah, and it's so nice for the summer weather that they have over there. Not so nice in England because at the moment it is pouring it down, but you know, I might get to wear it again next year, or if I go on holiday, I might take it, but it is super comfy, so even if I just wear it at home with, like, a pair of joggers, then, you know, it will get worn, so that's good. So, like a typical Visco girl, I had to get myself one of the chain belts. I saw so many people wearing them, and they're really cute, and they're not very common in England, like, not many people wear them, which is probably because we don't have a Brandy Melville and none of us are LA girl. I got this little chain belt. So this is what it looks like. It all loops around and then this is how you like connect it together. And it's really cute when it's on. So I usually wear it and I have it like maybe six loops down. So like so. And then you just have a little bit dangling down. But it also depends how big your waist is or how, how like small your, or how small your waist is because um I don't know like I could probably have it a bit more I could probably go to like that much but obviously if you have a very small waist then you might want to get a smaller size I think they did three sizes I just got whatever one like I think I just like picked it up um I didn't actually check so yeah I think this was $12 and um, yeah, it's actually really nice and it works really well as a belt. Like it does hold your trousers up even though it is a chain. So yeah, another good purchase. Then I actually got these from PacSun. I, um, I went there as well. I always get it confused with Brandy because they are literally so similar. I saw so much stuff in Brandy that as soon as I walked into PacSun, which was across the road, they had exactly the same stuff. So they are very similar, but there is a few pieces that are different. So this one is one of the different pieces. So it's a halter neck. I'm just tying up the neck because otherwise it's not gonna quite look right. So it's got this dragon on the chest and it's a halter neck. So it looks like this, it looks a bit nicer on. I'm gonna show all the stuff on at the end because it's easier to edit and I'm being a bit lazy. So. Um, yeah, I will shove all the try on bits at the end so that you can see what they look like on. And then I got this one. This was in the sale for $5 and it's a red crop top and it says California here. And it looks like one of the ones from like those retro diners, like, um, the roll away diners where they wear roller skates and stuff. That's what it reminded me of. And I actually, I think I wore it when I went roller skating there because it looks really cute and it's a little polo and it buttons up. So yeah, I got it in a size small. That was a US small, which I think is the same as England. So um, yeah, that was a good buy. Then I got this little bralette. This was from a shop in Venice. 
I also got something else from a shop in Venice. Um, so I got this little bralette, which is just like a burgundy lace bralette. And this was $15, but it is really comfy. And um, it just like hooks at the back. You don't have to pull it over. And yeah, it's comfy. It wasn't that much. So it was more like the place I got it from as well. So the shop was really cute and they had loads of like beach wear and um, like kind of quirky stuff. So when I saw it in there, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get that. Um, I also got this from a store in Venice. So as you can see, it's got a shoe with like chewing gum on it. And the brand, if I pronounce it correctly, is Vardigan, Vardigan? Um, and it's basically this guy who draws all the designs himself and then prints them onto the t-shirts and jumpers and he does like joggers and stuff as well. And um, yeah, they all look really, really cool. His designs were really cool. I'm gonna try and find the photo of the outside of the shop because they actually put this design on the wall outside the shop and I got a photo with it, um, if I can find it but I wasn't actually wearing the t-shirt on that day because we bought it and then I went back another day and when I went back the other day, I didn't take the shirt with me, which was kind of annoying because I really wanted to get a photo in the shirt in front of the actual design, but it didn't work out that way. So I'll just have to go back to Venice because it is lovely. Literally, if I could move to America, well, I mean, I haven't been to many places in America, so I couldn't like say America in general, but if I had to pick somewhere in LA, it would definitely be Venice. I just love all the like craziness that goes on there, like all the street dancing, the skateboarding, the fashion. Yeah, it was just a, such a cool vibe being around everyone there. So this I got from a little stool and it says Santa Monica and it's just this blue t-shirt. Um, but I'm thinking that I could wear this like to the gym because it's oversized and the same with the white one and some of the other ones that I've got coming up because yeah, it's loose. It's quite like kind of rustic-y because I don't know if you can see it's like the lighting's really bad, but it's not it's like a wash um, And even the design is like a wash design. It's not precise, but I quite like that um, So it means that if you did wear it somewhere and then get it slightly dirty and then you had to wash it and it looked slightly rougher it wouldn't really matter because that's kind of the style of it then i got this so this was a gift from pauline she gave it to me the day i got there it was in like a little cute gift bag and it was really nice of her and it's just this california t-shirt so it's got the wave and then i'm doing really bad at holding this up please excuse this so you have the sunset and then you have the wave and it's really cute. Um, it's in like a sand color, the color of the t-shirt. So it kind of goes with a lot and it's really comfy. I wore it to the beach quite a few times when I was there cause it was nice just to throw over a bikini. Um, I don't know how much that was cause I didn't buy it, but the blue one I think was $10 cause we bought it from a stool. And then Manhattan Beach was my favorite beach when I was there. We went to quite a few. And a couple of days before I left, Pauline's um, dad and stepmom, who I was staying with while I was there, they bought me this as like a gift. And it's so cute. So it's got a little camper van on it. And then it says Manhattan Beach. So considering it was my favorite beach, um, I'm really like chuffed with that and it's quite a nice like memento because they bought it for me and they were amazing and let me stay with them for two and a half weeks when they did not have to because I had never met them before. Um, I had spoken over Skype to her parents um, when she had like introduced me but um, like we obviously, me and my friend that lives there, Pauline, she and I met when we went to India volunteering. So that was the only time we had met each other and we had spent sort of three weeks together. So yeah, they did not know me. They did not have to buy me anything, but they were really nice and did. So that was cute of them. Then we went to the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which was a lot dirtier than I expected. Um, it's definitely not what they advertise, but we popped into the Hard Rock Cafe because my brother really likes a Hard Rock Cafe. So I thought I'd check it out. And I bought a couple of gifts for people 
And then I also got this. So it's like a, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a cocktail glass, I think. It's not, you can't really use it as a normal glass. It's a bit fancier, but it says hard rock and then it's got Hollywood because that's where I bought it. Um, yeah, so I got this. This will be quite nice for fancy events where I can drink like cocktails and wine maybe out of it. We'll see. Don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. And it comes in this little box which has hard rock on it. Um, that's how I stored it in my suitcase because I was really worried that I was going to completely break it. Um, what else? I got this number plate. Obviously not an official number plate, but... It has Pacific Coast and it shows all of California, um, all of the different routes. So I thought that was quite cool because then I can see all the different places in California and maybe decide to go back and pick one of them. So yeah, I thought this was cool and it just sits, I'll see if I can show you. Obviously it's not there now because I've taken it down, but this is where it sits. So it usually sits there. So as you can imagine, that's where it goes. So um, yeah, that's where it sits normally. Obviously I've taken it down for the video. Next, what else? Oh, also Hollywood Walk of Fame. I got myself a star with my name on it because I thought that way if I ever lose my keys, people will know whose they are. So that just goes on my car keys, which are very large because I'm extra. So, what else did we get? Um, I got a few of these. I actually got, I think, maybe nine of these face masks, but I've used five already in two months, which doesn't actually seem like that much, but if you think that's like once every two weeks, and I have used some others, I'm just a bit obsessed with face masks. But they were doing a deal, buy seven, get two free. Um, so I went a bit crazy, but I didn't realize, I thought the seven included the two free, but it doesn't. So when I got to the till, they were like, go and get some more. So I did. So some of the other ones I got was um, like oatmeal, uh, lime. I can't think of any others, but the ones that I still have, I'm gonna go free because I can read that off here. So I got a Manuka honey one which is this one. And these are all sheet masks. So um, I've got a new obsession with sheet masks because they're so relaxing to have just put on your face. Whereas if it's a natural serum, it's a bit annoying to kind of like wipe onto your face. Then I got a coconut one, which is this one. I got a cucumber. And then I also got a ginger because I'm obsessed with ginger and it's good for you in many ways. Then I'm going to be showing you all the little knickknacks that I got and some Polaroids as well. So these are just kind of random things that I picked up and I thought they were cute, like postcards and stuff like that. So I got this little badge which says DTLA, which is downtown LA. And that's going to be going on my denim jacket because I have a bunch of badges which I need to put on my jacket because I washed it and I took them all off. And yeah, they look really cute with um, all the badges on. I also got loads of stickers because everywhere in LA gives out stickers for free and it's like, I've never had that before. So I literally took all of them and they probably hated me. If you have watched the LA vlogs, then you'll know that um, I went to Cha Cha Matcha and it was the last day of the trip and my travel card was pretty much empty, but I didn't know this. So I ordered a, um, matcha tea and it was like ginger and turmeric and I was really excited for it and then I went to pay and he had already started making it and my travel card wouldn't work so I kind of dulled it down and said like oh it's my it's a travel card like I don't know what's wrong with it it must be maybe there's an error with it or it's not working for some reason um, and he said oh do you have any cash and I said no like because I'm traveling so I didn't bring any and he said don't worry about it take it for free so he gave me a free matcha and then I had the cheek to say, can I take some of these stickers as well? So then I took some stickers and I was surprised that he didn't say like, 
hey, don't take them. You've already had a free drink. But yeah, he didn't seem to mind, so that was nice. I have them here. So I took three of them. So this one says Cha Cha Matcha and I'm pretty sure it's the reflected version. So I might put it on my car because then if I put it on the windscreen, then you can read it from the outside. Then I got this Welcome to Paradise one. And then I got, that was delicious. And it says Cha Cha at the bottom. So that's cute. Um, then I got my boarding pass. I've just kept it. I'm gonna be scrapbooking it. So I've got uh, my boarding pass for the way home. And then I've got some postcards, if I can arrange them all. So I got this one, which was from LACMA, which is a art museum. And it says, your body is a battleground. And it's this really cool, like, holographic kind of look. So half their face is just like a normal photo, and then the other half is like holographic. And then I got this one from um, LACMA as well not LACMA, um, The Broad. I, I've been to, I went to so many places, so it was just confusing. Um, yeah, it was The Broad. And if you can see, oh, you can. It's the Infinity Room, which you get a couple of seconds in there and you have to wait like an hour, so we didn't bother. And you pay, I think, 30 pounds and you literally, you get a photo and then you're told to get out. So yeah, we decided to skip that. Um, I got this one of LA, which is really nice because you can just see the whole of it. And it's nice to see all the skyscrapers, like the business part of LA. I got this greetings from California one, which is just like all the graffiti kind of writing. Then I got this Santa Monica one, which shows the pier. And we went there a couple of times and it was really pretty. Then I got one of the Hollywood sign right up close because when we did our hike, we didn't manage to get that close to it. Then I got another greetings from California one, but this one shows all the big landmarks. Um, so it has like the national park, um, like Tahoe, um, San Francisco, etc. I'm not gonna go through them all cause you will get bored. Then this is LACMA, yes. So these are the famous lampposts. You will never get a photo like that because they constantly have Taurus in front of them. Um, I got a photo in front of them with Pauline, but we had like five people in the background and you kind of can't get around it, which is annoying, but it still looked pretty, so we're good. Then I got another one of Santa Monica Pier, but this is a different angle and it's got Route 66 in there and it's really pretty. And then this one is of the last bookstore, which is in LA and it's a giant bookstore and um, you can buy books, records, art, um, postcards, quite a few different things. Um, and they also have like a little stage in there and they have um, people coming and performing while, so you can like have them performing and then you can sit there and read. So it's quite like relaxing. Then I have my ticket from LACMA. Because I was not a LA resident, I had to pay. It's free to LA residents, but yes, because they could tell that I was English, I could not get away with um, saying that I wasn't. Oh my God, I forgot about this. So I got this from um, the Lost Bookstore. It's a badge and it says Happy Camper because I love like road trips and stuff. And I'm planning to sew it or iron it onto one of my jackets, I'm not sure which one yet. Um, I think that was nine pounds. And then I just got loads of stickers. So I'll show you some of them. So I got this one, which is where my t-shirt's from, the Vardagen place. I will try and figure out how to say it, but I really can't. Um, yeah, and it was just like another one of his designs that he was giving away for free. Then I got this Avocado Mama one, which was some delicious um, food that we had when we went to Smorgasburg. And yeah, it was called Avocado Mama and they did like mac and cheese and it was all vegan and it had avocado on it and it was so good. Um, then I got these little alien ones, which I got from Urban Outfitters, 
which they were giving away for free. I got some little hair clips as well. So you know the little tiny um, kind of like dog clips, I think they're called. It's like, it's like this, but it's smaller. And I got some blue ones, some pink ones and some white because I like rinse them for them. Then I got this little quote and it's actually a sticker, I think. Yeah, and it was $2 and it's Einstein that said the quote and then it's been like put onto a little art piece and it says art is standing with one hand extended into the universe and one hand extended into the world and letting ourselves be a conduit for passing energy and I thought that was really interesting so I decided to buy it then lastly I just have a couple of Polaroids that I wanted to show you and then we're done finally after like 20 minutes so these two were taken at Griffith Park and if you can't see which you definitely can't because it's foggy as hell in these photos um right in the background here is the Hollywood sign so we wanted to get a photo with the Hollywood sign in the back but it was really really well smoggy is what they called it because of all the like pollution and stuff then on my last night uh, we got this one, which was in a restaurant um, before we left. That was literally the night before. So we got we went out for food um, as like a treat and we went with some of Pauline's friends. And then, yeah, we took a couple of Polaroids. And then there's this one from the Rollaway when we went skating. And that's of Pauline. And um, yeah. That's like all the little bits that I got. I didn't actually take as many Polaroids as I thought I would. I thought there was more. I feel like I've missed off so much stuff, but I can't figure out, cause it's been like two months. <laughs> I don't even know where I've put the stuff if I have forgotten it. So let's hope I didn't. Um, yeah, and then I'll insert a little bit at the end of me trying all the stuff on so you can see what they look like. So there's only a couple of tops that I'll be trying on. I don't know why but I look like such a tourist in this t-shirt. Um, literally as soon as I tried it on, I was like, I look like a tourist, but it's still cute. Even if I just wear it for bed, it's still really comfy and it's such a nice like fabric and everything. So definitely a good gift. So I'm so pleased that they got this to me and obviously it's Manhattan Beach, so we love that. So this is the California tee. It looks really cute on, it's a nice fit. And um, yeah, it goes quite well with pretty much anything. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be wearing this more often because it's a bit more um, like reserved. It's not too like in your face in terms of like the big um, like print on it. Cute little crop top. And then that's where it says California. I feel like I work in a diner when I wear this. It's so cute, like, especially with like a pair of shorts. This is another one of the crop tops. So this is the halter neck one and it's got the dragon on the chest, which is really cute. Um, I actually realized that this was from Brandy, not PacSun. I got them confused, but then I saw the label when I was putting it on and I was like, that was wrong. Um, but yeah, I really want the weather to get better because it's so rainy at the moment. And obviously this would be really cute with like mum jeans or something because I wouldn't be able to wear shorts because it's freezing in England right at the moment. But yeah, I really want the weather to get better. And there's another crop top coming. So this is the other crop top from Brandy. Um, it's got the cupids on it and it's really, really cute. And it's a really nice fit as well. So yeah, perfect for summer. So this is the um, like custom t-shirt that I got. And as you can see, it's really long, but it's really nice for the gym because I wear it with leggings and it's really nice to have an oversized top where you're not necessarily showing off your figure even if you do have a good figure it's just comfy to wear like a bigger t-shirt um yeah and I got an extra large in it so it's quite big and I really like where the sleeves sit they're like by your elbows but yeah it's super comfy I'm constantly wearing it for bed as well because it's so comfy so yeah and I think it was like $18 but I got it in the sale because it was like 40% off so that's why I got the biggest size because I was like I'm getting it discounted so it was a so yes I hope you enjoyed and make sure you like and subscribe and watch all my other videos if you haven't because 
there's quite a few of them so if you're interested in the LA vlogs then go onto my channel there's a whole playlist of all the vlogs so you can go and check those out if you want to see what I got up to um, they're all like daily vlogs so they're not like sit down videos which is quite fun and some of them were very like improv lots of target hauls but kind of funny ones rather than like sit down and actually do it because I was with like Pauline and her friends we tried to make it a lot more fun so yeah definitely go and check those out and I will see you in the next one bye